Hello everybody, it's Sean, Mac Gaming. How are you all doing? Hopefully quite well. Today, I'll be showing you how to um, put a screen protector on an iPhone 5 slash 5C slash 5S. I'm using a 5S. So first of all, what I'd like to do is turn the phone off. Now the phone is turning off, let's look at what we're going to use. Screen protectors, these are cheap ones just for this demonstration. It's called Top Gift TG Screen Protector IPH 5G, dust proof, lucency durable, rubberable, and scratch proof. Apparently, 98% anti UVA. UV. Right, so let's get it out, let's see what we have. One screen protector. Anything else? One cheap, very cheap cleaning cloth. <coughs> so the first thing to do is make sure you have no dust on your iPhone. You can do that by doing this. There we go. I'd like to do the whole iPhone. Then I'd like to do surrounding areas just in case a bit of wind comes through. <coughs> let's take this out they're all very similar designs but some may vary they normally say one and two so what you normally do is you take the one off then place it onto the phone before I do that I'm going to give this a second one through with the duster like so I would say there's no dust or fingerprints left there so one please peel off this before the application is what yours would say so I'm going to peel that off, there we go. Now this is the worst part of all, getting it aligned. So, ours shall be there. Then this trick is to do it like this. But there are loads of ways to do it. And that is perfect for this demonstration. So then I've realised that this one has little holes stuck to it. That's no problem. So the second tip is you see these air bubbles, they're quite a nuisance aren't they? There's loads of ways you can get rid of them. One, you should be able to use a dust in a cloth that comes with your screen protectors. And it works pretty, pretty well, pretty well. It's a safe way of doing it. Another way is to get some um, card slash plastic. For example, a bank card would be sufficient. Or, if you have the um, cardboard the screen protector came with, you could use that too. So here, I've just ripped some cardboard off. Then what you do is you fold it a little, and voila. This is the most efficient way of getting these bubbles out of the protector and there we go you should have no bubbles left so the second step is to peel off this sometimes it brings bubbles up so you have to be a bit wary of that as you can see a couple bubbles have been brought up but we won't use the card for that we're going to use this cloth and well wow. And there we go. You shouldn't have any um, bubbles in this. Well, there may be one or two slight bubbles some in some places. But it's all about putting your time in. If you put a fair bit of time into getting rid of them, they will go eventually. It just takes a little time. Don't get frustrated. You can just come back to it another time. It's not a major urgency. The screen is protected quite well. Um, and overall, this screen protector is quite well, considering how much it cost, which was about a pound. Literally, that's all it costs. And hey, it's alright, it, it seems fine for me, it seems normal. So, job's done. Thank you all for watching. This is how you put a screen protector on a phone. It's quite a simple tutorial, but it's for those out there who always end up with bubbles. So these couple of bubbles, this one and this one up here, will be gone very soon. 
I'm just going to do that after recording this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.